So there's this guy I found about quite recently that has reached financial independence by writing code. What I thought was inspiring about this was that he made it on his own terms by sticking to multiple principles. Things like eating healthy food, prioritizing sleep, working out every day and building projects from a space independent place. I love the concept of being able to work from wherever you want in the world. Just the thought of having to commute physically while also wasting time to an office just so that your manager can make sure you are working really sends shivers down my spine. These principles are not that often found in the solopreneur's space, where everybody tends to work themselves out in hopes of one day becoming filthy rich, when the actual goal should be location and financial freedom, as well as good health to enjoy it. Besides, the perseverance of the individual amazed me as well. He launched 17 startups before one of them finally became a hit, generating about 60k a month. The growth was exponential, but for all the time he did not see any results, which was about 2 years, he could have quit. I guess compounding really is the 8th wonder of the world, as Einstein said. As it turns out, it doesn't only apply in financial investing, but in the effort to results correlation as well. Imagine doing something for that long without succeeding, but not giving up. The secret key here is to not do it just for the money. Sure, they come as a nice bonus that will help you enjoy your life more freely and on your own terms later on, but passion is as important. Otherwise, this solopreneur wouldn't have persisted for this long without seeing any results. He enjoyed the actual process of coding his ideas and bringing them to life. One of the other ways he made this clear was by making entire free projects. Of course, in the long run, these ended up drawing even more attention to him, enlarging his audience and also increasing his revenue on the paid projects, but all this came as an extra. Digging deeper, I was shocked to see this guy is not alone and there is an entire movement called Building Public. Basically, different aspiring entrepreneurs that want to launch their startups share their ideas and progress in public spaces like X or Reddit. This way, in time, they cultivate a following and market their product easier at release. Genius, right? The whole story really helped me have a mindset shift. Initially, my idea was that if you think about a revolutionary startup topic, you should not tell anyone until you release it. Maybe they will steal the whole idea from you and implement it themselves quicker or better. Something like the plot in the Social Network movie. This isn't accurate, as nowadays there isn't a lack of ideas people are suffering from, but one of execution. Quite the opposite, there are a lot of ideas people are getting bombarded with every day and the shortening attention span we own is distracting us from actually putting any of them into practice. Getting back to the success rate, about 1 in 17 holds true for many of his fellow friends, now working solo on their projects from anywhere in the world making much more money than needed to live in comfort. Check out this guy, stating he only succeeded with 5% of his projects. Crazy. This knowledge has become so ingrained in the culture to the point where everybody trying to get into this space knows about it and takes it into consideration. For example, there is this YouTuber that I watch that goes live twice a day and has a series called Day X of making 33 startups until I become rich. But getting a huge monthly revenue from your startup is not the only path I have seen happening. There were also a lot of examples given by these guys of different startups they had that ended up acquired by some of their followers. This is the same thing that happened to Twitch at a much larger scale. Justin Ken, its founder, ended up selling the livestream platform to Amazon for $970 million. I can hardly say I would know what to do with my life if I had all that money and no purpose left. He actually said in an interview that he was much happier when he was working at Twitch than after it got sold, because he could strive for something every day. We can learn this way that the ideal scenario most of the people idolize is actually a lie. 
With all the money in the world, but without a thing to do or work at to improve, life would just lose its meaning. So, I think there is nothing wrong with wanting more money. They are necessary in the capitalist world we live in. But maybe you can somehow try to earn it by doing something you really enjoy. And this way, your life might become quite a bit better. If you want to learn about a way I was able to make money while also doing something I love, you can check out this video about my 3 year journey as an online course instructor.